them was effective lobbying. The training organized by Uganda Joint Christian Council and Stretch for Hope Uganda was majorly attended by religious leaders from the Catholic faith, Anglican, Orthodox and Pentecostals. Can speak for those who cannot speak. That they were warned against silence when need arises for advocacy. Proverbs 31.8 Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves for the rights of all who are destitute. That is a God-given mandate to speak up for those different categories from each of our areas of influence. In her presentation, Sister Juliet Nakawe from Uganda Matters University said there are emerging threats against the church that Christian advocates should pay much attention to. In all our faiths, in our different faiths, we all have points of vulnerability. That when you sit, we are the minority in this Christian faith, so we are vulnerable. We all have our points of vulnerability where we have to exercise advocacy. The proposed marriage bill 2024 has been cited as one of the emerging threats for the church. The marriage bill 2024. When you look at the clauses, some of them, I just brought out a few that are again as Christian, but they are not exhaustive. Clause 4 says it defines a civil marriage as potentially polygamous. Can you imagine? When a discussion on the proposed regulation of faith-based organizations came up, the religious leaders who turned up for this training had divergent views. It's of a very different what? dimension and any direction okay towards regulating matters of faith is going to end up in suppressing what i think faith in this country needs to be regulated i'm that one of those who's on record saying we need to regulate faith in this country i think there are many shrines right now which are churches when jesus was uh, in his mission by then he went uh, on the lake shore and he picked up different men who were fishing like the Peters, the James, and he told them follow me. About 84% of Uganda's population is Christian and according to the religious leaders who turned up for this training, this is an opportunity for them to unite and speak with one voice against emerging threats that may erode Christian values. Diano Olwen Peters, UBC News in Kampala.